Hit the subscribe button or visit us at auau.auanet.org. In this video, we hope to provide some tips and tricks to standard and difficult morselations. Prior to morselating, you should be familiar with the device and its setup. There are three main pieces to the morselator, the handle, the suction valve switch, and the morselator blade itself. We set up the blade so that only one third of the aperture is visible when the blade is not spinning, as seen in this video. When the aperture is open larger, it will create larger fragments of tissue that risk clogging the device. Next, attach the suction valve switch and ensure adequate seal. This is a common cause of poor suction during morselation. Snap the blade into the handle and hook the power and suction tubing to the handle and external device apparatus. Ensure there is a collection container in the tissue trapper and place this in line with the suction tubing prior to fluid being disposed into the collection chamber. Once all tubing is secured, evacuate the air from the line and you are ready to morselate. Once the nucleation is completed, ensure good hemostasis is achieved as this will help with visualization during morselation. Utilizing an offset storage nephroscope, a Wolf Piranha morselator, and dual irrigation with three bags of saline flowing, morselation is achieved. To engage the tissue, raise your hands to place the blade under the tissue and utilize suction. Then drop your hands to lift the tissue from the base of the bladder. During morselation, you should have clear visualization of the blades at all times and distension of the bladder in order to decrease risks of injury. Most morselations are straightforward, but there are moments when it is difficult to engage the tissue and complete morselation. Here we highlight a few tricks that can be helpful to have up your sleeve during those times. When having difficulty, first assess that your suction is working adequately. There is a primer button on the device box that will provide continuous high power suction. This can help clear the line. If this does not work, check that the on and off suction switch on the morselator handle is in the on position and that it has an adequate seal. Finally, if none of that works, sometimes a larger fragment of prostate tissue can clog the morselator and you need to clear that clog from either the handle or the blade. We do this by removing the blade and sheath together from the handle and placing suction tubing over the proximal end to create a seal. We then use a catheter tip 60cc syringe to flush the clog out of the apparatus. Sometimes the suction is not the issue and you are still not able to morselate. This can be due to a number of causes. There are a few tricks we have found to be helpful in this situation. To demonstrate the scenario, we present a patient with 225 gram prostate gland that had previous high food therapy for prostate cancer. As you can see in this video, despite adequate suction, the tissue was not engaging with the morselator, and we utilize each trick in this patient. First, reduce the RPMs of the morselator to 800 from the standard 1500. This may allow the tissue to engage with the blade without bouncing around like a peach ball. Another trick you can try when the prostate fragment is smaller in size is to bring the tissue back into the prosthetic fossa with suction. This can help stabilize the tissue on top of the blade and prevent disengagement. Finally, a trick that is helpful for large prostates that fail to engage after reducing blade speed is to use the laser to cut into the external capsule of the tissue, creating flaps that get into the softer core of the gland. This allows better engagement with the blades so that morselation can be completed. 
you may find that you have to laser the tissue multiple times before being able to complete morselation. have a difficult morselation, you sometimes have to utilize multiple variations of these techniques in order to complete morselation. The more of these tricks you have up your sleeve, the easier difficult morselations become. We hope we have provided useful tips that will be helpful for you and your practice.